on a telescope are often coated with some kind of metal in order to reflect as much light as possible. Now the type of metal depends upon the kind of light the telescope is looking at. The James Webb Space Telescope is looking at infrared light and for that gold is the ideal choice. To find out how the gold is put onto the mirrors of the James Webb Space Telescope, we're here at Quantum Coding in Moorestown, New Jersey. So Ian, how much gold are we talking about? Enough for a ring? Not even that. Well, it depends on how big your ring is, of course. <laughs> but the, the thickness of the coating is almost unimaginably small. To give an example, this piece of paper is about one thousandth of an inch. We could take one thousand gold coatings, stack them all side by side, and they would be the thickness of this piece of paper. In terms of the amount of gold that we need, it comes to three grams of material. Okay, and three grams yeah. looks like three grams I have this. Wow, that's amazing, considering how big the mirror is. That amount, when it's spread out thin enough, covers the whole surface of the hexagon. When you apply the coating, are we talking about like a paint job? No, this is called vacuum deposition. It happens in a chamber where all of the air has been sucked out to create a vacuum. Then we vaporize the gold. We create a cloud of vapor, and that vapor condenses on the surface to form the film. And why do you choose to apply the gold that way? That's the way to get the maximum reflection. Spray painting or other techniques wouldn't give us enough reflection. And can we actually see the gold being applied to a mirror? Sure. Ty's the guy who operates the coating machine. He'd be happy to show you how that works. Hey, Ty. Hey, how you doing, Mayor? I was told that a coating process is about to start. Sure, we're about to start the coating soon. Can we tag along? Sure. Okay, see? So what we're doing here now, we're preparing the mirror for coating, cleaning the mirror of any contaminants or any particles and that could be on the mirror. So Ty, what's going on here now? Okay, well now we're putting on the shield and the mask for the mirror. The coating cannot be beyond a certain area on the mirror. So you want the gold to just be on the surface, nothing on the sides or anything? Right, there's a bevel also on the edge of the mirror. We don't want any coating on the bevel either. How long is this going to take? Uh, maybe an hour in total. I understand there are no cameras in the chamber. Right. Can we see what's going on? We take a look inside our viewport. We see the part rotating and we can see the glow disperse right now. So Ty, we couldn't show the actual company specific equipment that was used to apply the coating, but we get to see the gold-coated mirror fresh out of the chamber. Yeah, that's neat. Look at it. Um, the mirror's coated now. We're, we're all complete and we're ready to ship it off to the customer and it can begin their testing. Well, thanks so much for guiding us through your coating process. It was fascinating. Well, not a problem at all. As you can see, gold isn't just a fashion accessory for the James Webb Space Telescope, but a critical addition to making the telescope work its very best. Thanks for joining us for another edition of Behind the Web.